in terms of the evolving competitive landscape, there's a number of different areas where we see um, business opportunity and business growth potential. So high altitude platforms are, are one uh, particular area. There's, you know, we see potential here for them to become almost the, the new uh, cell tower companies of the future, providing coverage where you haven't got the constraints of having to build infrastructure and things on the, on the ground. Uh, and then, of course, for satellites, you know, the thing that's got everybody excited is the, the whole direct-to-device uh, possibilities. So this is a big talking point at the show this year. Uh, and where we see the, the growth opportunities is with the companies that can kind of differentiate themselves, uh, step away a little bit from the hype, uh, and focus on the, the, the key technologies that are actually going to help uh, the satellite and the mobile network operators uh, deliver on the realities of, uh, of non-terrestrial networks from, uh, from space. So a couple of uh, areas of deep tech that we're investing in and we're developing as, as a company um, to help advance the industry are uh, advanced um, uh, phase array antennas um, and also um, AI native networks. So a little bit of information on the, the phase around tennis. The, the type of technology we're developing is uh, deployable from both HAPS and from, from satellite. Uh, and what it enables you to do is to cover very precise areas on the ground, either sort of infrastructure, roads, rails, and that sort of thing, uh, or you can cover large areas, um, or a combination of the two. And it, you can do very precise control, um, which allows the non-terrestrial networks to complement very well the, the terrestrial networks. Um, another exciting area for uh, phase ray antennas is a millimeter wave, uh, because uh, as, we, as we advance and the technology moves forward, those are the sort of frequencies and the areas where um, the, 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 the industry will move to. So at the moment, um, there's some physical limitations around those um, millimeter wave antennas, just because of the, the, the size of them. So one of the areas that we're working in is, is to enable uh, FDD millimeter wave antennas to be, uh, to be a a uh, commercial reality. So a, lo a lot of, um, lot of in, uh, investment and development work in, in that particular area. And then for, uh, for the uh, AI native networks, um, as the networks get more complicated, uh, we're moving away from the days where you have uh, fixed assets either on the ground uh, or as part of you know, networks, uh, things don't move. In the new world of non-terrestrial networks, you've got satellites, you've got HAPs, uh, that all move in, in real time. Mix that in with the users, uh, the end users, we use the terminals that are also moving as well. And you can see the, the, the challenge of managing communications within those networks. So what we're developing is uh, AI systems using different types of machine learning uh, that will dynamically adapt uh, automatically to the changing network uh, situation um, to be able to maintain uh, reliable network connectivity at all times. Some of the ways that um, we're helping to address uh, sustainability and uh, reduce um, energy usage and things is through the use of non-terrestrial networks. So uh, conventional sort of cell sites uh, and net core networks and things are all very power intensive, take a lot of energy. Um, some of the, the, the non-terrestrial networks, particularly for, uh, for HAPs, which are solar powered, so very sustainable. You know, these aircraft can stay airborne for, for days, uh, weeks at a time. Uh, using energy from the sun. So it's a very efficient way of providing uh, cellular coverage on the ground. Um, and you can also do it in areas that would have been you know, uh, financially unviable to do uh, previously. Um, the satellite uh, is a similar sort of situation. You can cover large areas from, um, from space without needing a whole load of infrastructure on the ground.